In this session, we'll look at how to download multiple selected files from a BIM 360 team project. As you can see, I've just launched BIM 360 team. I'm going to click to jump into this project called CAW Site Plan. And then in this project is a folder called Design Files. Let's open up that folder. In here, we have a collection of DWG files. Now, I apologize for my screen resolution. It's making it a little difficult to read the file names. If I hover, though, we can see this file is called Boundary. This one's called Existing Conditions. I have Existing Topography, Proposed Conditions, and Proposed Topography. Now, let's assume I'm a subcontractor on this project. From here, I could easily click on these DWGs, and I could review them in the Large Model Viewer. Instead of reviewing these files online, though, I would rather download them to my local machine, such that I could use an application like Civil 3D to analyze the grading, the utilities, or the earthwork. So let's look at how we can download files. I'm going to click to jump back to the Design Files folder. To download an individual file, I can hover over the file name, and then if I move to the right, we'll find a download link. If I click this, I can come down and save this file to my local machine. By default, it places it in the Downloads folder. I can access that folder by clicking the Open Folder button. There's the file right there. Let me close this. If I'd like to download multiple files, I can use the Select box to the left of the file name. Notice as I select multiple files, we'll see a new download button appear at the top left of the screen. I can use this button to download all of the selected files. In this case, I'd like to download every file in this folder, so I'll click the Select All button. I will then click Download, and as a courtesy, BIM360 team will consolidate all of the selected files into a single zip file. When the file's finished, I'll come down and click Save. I can then choose Open Folder to see that file on my local machine. If I double-click on the zip file, right here we can see all of the files that were downloaded. Let me mention that I demonstrated this workflow using DWG files. This technique will work with any file or any collection of files. At this point, these files are now available on my local machine, where I can access them using the application of my choice. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.